Hello from Slovenia again. Happy holidays for you all. Today, is, today uh, I will not have live stream because we have these holidays, not the Halloween kind of, but when we remember our past ones. So I will do whoop, a black and white split cup pour, just monochromatic split cup pour. Uh, I'm using these split cups from Paint Pour Store. You have a lot of them. They have these handles, but you can use them like that too. And I have 12 by 16 inch canvas and I will try to do kind of a wandering ring, straight pour, I don't know. And I am using Amsterdam Oxide Black and Amsterdam Titanium White. So I will add black in two chambers and white in two chambers. I like those uh, monochromatic pores. I have to admit that I like black and white <laughs> paintings. So um, sometimes just um, less is more sometimes or how can I say so this part is done and let's start with pouring so I will start here And I will pour some white around here and some black here. And then we will stretch this and see what will happen. to push my paint towards here to the pattern from the split cup and I have it on the spinner I will see but I definitely want to tilt it first 
to one side and then to the other. Um, so I did <laughs> have some white still there, but it's not a big deal. Okay, let's marry this. Okay, let me switch camera. You will see patterns. So I will go to this part first and to that part next and to the middle and to this side Okay, and back there, okay, I just think that I will we'll just stare for a second because <laughs> it does look like a feather and kind of like that so like a feather in a cave or something with those stalactites, stalactites, I don't know. So I will say that I am pretty much done. We'll just do that and add a little black here on this corner and black on this one and white on the other two because it's white there and I, I want to have my edges nice too because it's a deep edged gallery wrapped canvas so you have to take care of your sides too of course okay this one is done and the last one so even though it's a Halloween I didn't <laughs> use those Halloweenish crazy colors today I just used black and white and I like it and I will just wipe this excess paint a little bit I, I really like it that way because I like this look that it's kind of in the cave but just thinking if maybe I want to no, I will leave it like it is because I like it. It's like a feather in the cave and you have a glare. So I will turn the lights. Okay, much better. 
I really like it. I like this look. We'll just torch here in the black because I know that some of the white dots will pop through and like some fairy dust <laughs> or something. I'm just thinking about this corner. I think that I should tilt it a little more. If I turn it around that you will see what I'm talking about. Just a little more to that. If I can I will see what will happen if I try to till that a little bit off and back yes i think that i like that much more but now I will straighten up this lines a little bit straighten up I have to say okay and now I'm really done let me see Yes, I like it now. Okay, so here is a close up. I think that I like this orientation the most and love the sides with this kind of zebra pattern and this feathering there and this ones here even though it's just a black and white painting I think that it's quite nice and dramatic so I love it Tell me what you think about it and see you on the next one. Bye!